Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a... I don't even remember what the card was. Uh, let me actually real quick pull this up. Uh, it's a... Is that a LRUI? That's a LRUI and Evolution Blue Vegeta? And it's coming in from K. Uh, but before I go ahead and read K's card, send me custom cards over to the issue of custom cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. Um, so, yeah, there was multiple emails sent to me by uh, K. And... Uh, I did, you know, I hid most of them because it would be a nightmare for me to just specifically blur out each individual part of his email. Like, I'm only going to have to blur out one part of the, the email that has his actual email address on it. But, uh, yeah, I just knocked everything down because first thing he sent in the email was, of course, uh, here are the most hype units I could possibly think of. I hope you will like them. Of course, you like them. And of course, it just has a little link to a, a vast. I think a vast is like a little free. It's like a little free antivirus software, I believe. And of course, then there's got to send you some animations and then so on and so forth. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and see what this unit is looking like because that's pretty much that. It's just hype units, right? Okay, let me just pull this. Well, these guys up. Excuse me. Okay, so let me preview the file. It's, it's right here. Ah, but it's right here. It's right here. Okay, so their leader skill is uh, Tournament of Power. Oh, tournament of Power. <laughs> We're leaving that in the video. We're not starting another take. Tournament Participants, Super Heroes. <laughs> Roma Gods 3 key and 1, 70% across the board. And an additional 30% of the stats slash, of course, the 200% of these skills going to be to Reps Universe 7 or Miraculous Awakening. Uh, let's just go ahead and get that 200% of skill put inside the video. Okay, so this is what the leader skill is looking like. I mean, you can very easily build this team just off of Reps Universe 7 characters. Like, you run double of these guys as a leader, and you just take Tech UI, you take both the six-year Easy A's. Hell, you can even run Evo Ken, you can run STR UI if you don't have any other options outside of Team Universe 7. I mean, you do have Dokkan Fest 17 and 18. Granted, they do get their orbs. But, yeah, that's pretty much what the category is looking like. Okay, so let's see what they're doing. So, their 12 key, that being cooperation between rivals, 30% attack and defense for one turn, as well as doing colossal damage to the enemy, and having a 30% chance to crit. And their 18 key, that being the final explosion, they massively raise their attack and gain 30% defense for one turn. So you get 100% attack and 30% defense for one turn while doing med colossal damage to the enemy and sacrificing 7% HP. I thought that was going to be an AOE considering that says final explosion. So they're passive, which is a little tiny. So I hope that it looks fine for when it renders out inside the editing software. Three key and 177% attack defense at the start of turn. They also have a baseline 50% chance to dodge. Oh, and the name of the passive is uh, Awakening for sake of uh, Universe 7. They also get... 30% damage reduction, just unrestricted. Cool. And they also launch a guarantee super when attacking. Nice. And they get one key up to four and 20% attack and defense up to 100% with each attack evaded and received. Okay. And they also get additional 5% damage reduction up to 20% within the same turn with each super attack performed. So, of course, they have one guarantee super when they're just attacking. So, that's something that adds on top of their already damage reduction in the same turn. And they also get an additional 7% chance to dodge before attacking per Reps Universe 7 category ally attack in the same turn. Of course, self-excluded. Okay, so yeah, you do want to run that full Reps Universe 17 with this, this card. Because they'll get an additional 14% chance to dodge on top of their already 50% uh, chance to dodge. And they also launch an additional super attack after receiving or dodging an attack, okay? And they launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come with super attack when HP is 70% or more. So they have two guarantee supers built into them. One being from uh, you just attacking and another one being from them dodging or taking an attack, which is obviously very easy for them to uh, get out. And they also have additional super attack chance where when they're just above the HP threshold, it should be very easy, which you're going to open up the turn with these guys above the HP threshold, right? So I would say... Solid super attack effects. Um, I thought the 18 key was going to be an AOE because it says final explosion, but hey, it, it don't really matter. So solid super attack effects. I think this card looks pretty all right. 
It looks this card looks pretty all right, and of course their uh, their stats are as shown right below their card art. Yeah, they're yeah. What did I say, guys? This is usual for these videos. They're almost at fifteen thousand defense, and they're almost at seventeen thousand attack. Almost, they're at seventeen thousand two hundred eighty-five. Um, but just to sum up this card, uh, this card can get up to what's that? A sixty-four percent chance to dodge. While having up to 50% damage reduction, granted this card could do those four supers in, in the same turn, but you could get that off. You definitely could get this card to do four plus supers. You do your first one, you do your two guarantee supers that are built into your passive, as well as you do your additional super attack that's from the additional super attack chance from you being above that 70% or more HP threshold. So this card could get that damage reduction at the same turn. I like the, the design seems pretty solid for this card. Yeah. Now, could it provide some issues with this card taking a lot of damage when they take a hit for that additional super attack probably because one issue about this card that i do notice is that this card does not have enough stats because they only have uh, up to 100 percent attack and defense with uh, of course them dodging or taking hits that's five hits or five dodges and just 177 percent attack and defense like they're covered on the defensive end they have up to a 64 percent chance to dodge and up to 50 percent damage within the same turn which is obviously great but i'd say the issue is is that this card doesn't have enough stats probably that's probably it yeah yeah i think that's it because they're great on the defensive end for their mechanics but the problem is is that they don't have enough percentage boost to back up their them being able to take that attack granted they don't dodge if they don't dodge and they take a normal is it gonna hurt them like before they super it's like you, you gotta rely on this card dodging because this card doesn't have enough stats that's pretty much it uh and their link set is godly power warrior gods shocking speed tournament of power prepare for battle fierce battle and legendary power okay interesting w card concept though i think this would be a dope idea absolutely it would be fire ui and evolution blue vegeta just fighting alongside each other and they're uh super tech by the way as an lr categories are reps universe 7 i am covering it by the way i'm sorry guys categories are reps universe 7 pure saiyans join forces tournament participants <laughs> realm of gods i called it tournament of power bro tournament participants realm of gods power beyond super saiyan superheroes miraculous awakening kamehameha bond of parent and child and Celebrated Battle as well as Battle of Fate and Universal Survival Saga. Um, and that is it for this card. Yeah, I, I think this card is solid. I say this card solid. Um, the only thing that this card lacks is stats, pretty much. Because uh, if they don't dodge and they take a hit, it's going to hurt. And the main point of this card is to sit in slot one and get all that damage reduction within the same turn as well as them having that dodge from them just having them reps for seven characters with them before they attack, of course. And do keep in mind that it's only up to a 64% chance to dodge and up to 50% damage reduction. That's granted they do all four of those uh, super as well. They're going to do their first super, but uh, for the, for actually, no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine, but they have to dodge those, that first couple of attacks them to be able to super they just have the super pretty much that could be a little bit of an issue for them when it comes to taking hits that's it they have they don't have enough stats that's all uh but yeah i say this card is fine slap more stats on this card and this card is looking very very strong why i say so i'd probably say so but they they'd have to reliably dodge yeah they'd have to dodge but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best send me custom cards over to bhf custom cards at gmail.com to get to your custom card as soon as possible i'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way uh yeah w custom card w concept too i think this is gonna make this is gonna make for a dope thumbnail i hope the thumbnail i make is not mid peace